back to barbecuing. Today, we are doing the Danger Dog. Now, for those of you that don't know what this is, it's basically a bacon wrapped hot dog that they sell, the street vendors sell on the streets of Tijuana. And uh, nothing's better <laughs> at three o'clock in the morning walking out of a club than finding one of these things on the street. Basically, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have a couple sides. We're gonna have some pickled red onions. We're gonna make a chipotle mayo. We're gonna do some uh, sliced jalapenos on there. And uh, we're gonna steam the buns and make this one of the most amazing hot dogs you will ever have. So let's get to it. All right, so the first condiment we're gonna make really quick, you're probably gonna wanna do the night before, it's gonna be the pickled red onions. Super simple. Basically what we're gonna do is just basically brine them in uh, like vinegar, some apple cider vinegar, water, and a couple seasonings. So let's show you how to do this. Uh, you're gonna wanna slice these onions super thin. Actually, let me get this peel off here. All right, so like I said, you're gonna want these onions, I don't know, about what is that, like eighth of an inch, something like that. So we're gonna chop up three small red onions is what I have here. You could do one big one, depending on what you have at the store. And then we're gonna cram it into a mason jar. We'll fill it with some liquid. Let me finish chopping these up and then uh, I'll show you how to finish the rest of this. All right, now that we've got all our onions sliced and diced. What we're gonna do is basically we have over here in a pot, we have one cup of water that we brought to a boil and then just kind of turn it off and let it cool down a little bit. We're gonna add a half cup of apple cider vinegar here. And then the spices we got going in, we got a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of uh, pink Himalayan salt. We also have uh, some dill seed, a quarter tablespoon of dill seed and a quarter tablespoon of celery seed. We're gonna throw this all in. And then we're just gonna mix this together as I make a mess. <laughs> you wanna really dissolve the salt and the sugar that's in this. And then you're just gonna pour over the top of your onions here. All right, uh, if you're a little short like this, <laughs> like it turns out I am, uh, what you can do is top off with just another mixture of, uh, of uh, water and vinegar one-to-one -one equal parts. You wanna make sure that the liquid completely covers the onions, and then you're just gonna ba basically seal this, let it cool down, and then throw it in the fridge once it's cooled down for at least 24 hours. It's gonna be good in the fridge for at least up, up to a month or two. All right, so the next condiment we're gonna be making is gonna be the chipotle mayo. Super simple. We got about two tablespoons of mayo here. We're gonna use two chipotle peppers, the kind you find in a little can at the store. Uh, they come in adobo sauce is what you're looking for. Just dice them up really fine. Get those in here. We're gonna go with two of those. It's gonna ask, add a nice heat, nice, er nice earthiness to this. Um, we got a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar here. We got a quarter tablespoon or a quarter teaspoon of brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of cumin that's gonna go in. And then also a quarter teaspoon of oregano and garlic powder as well. And then basically we're just gonna stir this up. And this is gonna add amazing flavor to this hot dog when we're done with it. You can also like upsize this batch. Uh, it'll stay good in your fridge for at least a week. Uh, it's something that you can use on sandwiches or it's basically just like a chipotle mayo aioli type thing. So here we go, this is what we're looking like. If you can see here, there you go. Um, so that's gonna be our second condiment. We're also gonna throw, like I said, some pickled jalapenos in there and uh, it's gonna be amazing. So now that that's done, uh, we'll start off with the uh, beer of the week, huh? All right, let me go grab it. Today's beer of the day is Exteca Brewery's Mexican Lager. Uh, it's a local brewery been only around since 2018 uh, I can't really even find a whole lot on them I actually went to the liquor store looking for something else ended up with this but I figured since we're doing some uh, danger dogs some Tijuana danger dogs might as well have a Mexican style beer to go with it so it's about a 5% lager nice and hoppy uh, I mean not like an IPA type of hoppy but like a nice lager hoppy you know what I mean and uh, something super refreshing and easy to drink this is like a perfect beer for like a nice hot day like kind of like it is right now and uh, we'll go from there so Beer of the day, Xteca. Cheers. All right, we got our bacon, we got our hot dogs. The key here 
we're gonna pre-cook the bacon just a little bit, like kind of halfway, and then wrap the hot dog with it. If you were to just sit there and wrap the hot dog with the raw bacon, what happens is, is you, uh, you end up destroying the hot dog. It would be over burnt and crisp and you know, everything else like that. This way, you get kind of about the same time cooking on the uh, hot dog as you do with the bacon. So we're gonna get the bacon fried up here a little bit, then we'll wrap the hot dog, and we'll get this thing assembled. So the bacon is right about where we want it at this point. You want it just a little bit browned, you know, a little bit rendered down, not too much. So we'll pull this off, actually. Now we'll wrap our hot dogs. But what we're gonna do also with these buns is we're gonna steam them. And the trick to this, it gives you that authentic like cart feeling. We're gonna take these buns here and we're gonna spray them. We're just gonna spray these with a little bit of water, top and bottom. Not a lot, you don't want them to get like super soggy or anything like that. And then we're just gonna wrap these in foil and make sure that they're nice and tight. And we're just gonna grill these along with the hot dog. So we got our hot dogs, just normal, regular, nothing fancy, anything like that. I doubt the guys in TJ on the streets are doing anything kind of fancy with this. So we're just gonna take it and we're gonna wrap, we'll wrap the bacon around. And then we're gonna secure it with a couple toothpicks here, just so that it can cook. All right, there's one. We'll do the same thing with the second. All right, that's basically what you're looking at. So we're gonna throw this over on the grill here. We've got it on pretty much a low heat. You don't want it to like be too hot and just make this completely fried. So we're gonna turn this maybe a little bit higher than it is now, maybe like a medium, medium low, uh, and let it go for a few minutes, keeping it turned. You wanna be really careful with the bacon here. Uh, the fat that drips off can cause flare ups. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping an eye on it. This isn't something you wanna just set on there and walk away. You wanna constantly be turning this and making sure that you're keeping an eye on it, all right? So we're gonna let this cook for a little bit and we'll go from there. So here we are, the Tijuana Danger Dog. All right, we're ready to assemble this thing. All right, we got our buns here. that have been steaming in the foil. Let's check these things out. Nice and soft, nice and warm slightly stuck all right here we go we got the buns and the piece de resistance the danger dog so we'll take the skewers out we'll get this thing assembled so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put a little bit of this chipotle mayo that we made earlier on. It's gonna be amazing, add a depth of flavor, a lot of earthiness, a little bit of spice. All right, get that slathered in there. We'll throw the dog in. All right, we got our pickled onions that we made, hopefully the night before, so they uh, had time to ferment, but you can see the beautiful color on these things. They're nice and red. All the colors have absorbed into the onion. And then we've got the jalapenos, the pickled jalapenos. This, you can get any kind of jar uh, or can pickled jalapenos. I just quartered these and then we'll throw these on here like this. And there you have it. This is what we're looking at, the danger dog. Perfect street food, perfect occasion for any outdoor, outdoor barbecue or anything like that. Uh, Bite into this in just a second. All right, so let's give this thing a try. Here we go. Mm. The Chipotle mayo really makes this. Um, you get that hint of just that roasted Chipotle is, is absolutely amazing. So, plus you can't go wrong with bacon. Uh, again, Azteca beer was the beer of the day, and uh, we'll be seeing you guys next time. Cheers.